Everybody do what they want. I'm done. And not only done with watching it, I'm done with buying stuff. I'm done with supporting my wife's team. Done. I enjoyed watching and supporting the Green Bay Packers. So I'm pissed that I have to do this. But I love my country more than the NFL. Enough is enough. Enforce the policy and make them stand. start out with a couple small things here. Some of these things my children gave me as birthday presents and give Christmas gifts, and that really hurts. But I'm not watching you anymore, and I'm not paying your way. Ignorance ain't bliss. Steelers, my favorite hat, gone. Steelers, say goodbye. You're not worth it, not worth the time. This is a hat my daughter got me last Christmas. I'm really sad I'm giving these things up. But never watching you again. A sad day all this stuff has to go. My father was born in Pittsburgh. Brought me to my first games. No more Boulevard here. No more drive. song on my wall for years. Not anymore. In the fire. And I hope all your ignorance burns too. You know how many veterans would get around to watch you play and take joy in watching you play? You throw all that away. You don't care about the veterans. You don't care about that. You don't even care about the battle flag that was carried in to fight for the freedom, to free slavery. That's what that flag did. And you don't even look at that. I'm done with all of you. There you go. Goodbye, Pittsburgh Steelers. Burning hell. I bought a military jersey at your end of the game two years ago when my dad was dying of cancer. I came home and bought this jersey because I was proud because it was a military jersey by Colin Kaepernick. Today, sir, you lose that right to wear this jersey. No one should ever wear a jersey with your name on it again. No longer a fan of you. I was a fan of you. This is what I think of you. Sitting on that American flag, there's a mother who holds it because her son is in the ground, or her daughter's in the ground, or her husband. Maybe there's a husband who lost a daughter and a, and a wife. You are a low-level piece of crap. Let me repeat that. Thief. You are a low-level piece of crap. That's what happens to people who sit on the American flag, or sit during the national anthem. I'm a proud American, and I live in a foreign land. Stand up, America. Don't allow these athletes to do this just because they make money and they think they have a voice. God bless America and God bless veterans and everybody who's fallen. And what's the flag stand for? One word, freedom. Freedom to do what you want, to play on that field, to make millions of dollars. And you guys are role models? Uh-uh. Watch these little kids now kneeling down during the National Anthem. Little League games, Pop Warner games, now it's going into baseball, okay? And you know what, just a little tidbit here. Hey, Dale Earnhardt Jr., you're a scumbag.
okay? For you to say what you said, I got no respect for you anymore. So guess what, Dez? Here's your jersey, bro. There it goes, bro. I hope you're happy. Des Bryant, number 88, no longer watched.